Hey guys and welcome to Horses Scale. So today I'm continuing my experiments with multiple sources in order to write a quote-unquote perfect article and I thought I would take it a step further and use a famous ChatGPT code interpreter but with a flair. So first things first, we went to AppSumo last time and we looked at a tool which is underserved when it comes to Google reviews and that was the blog assistant. It has a couple of reviews, but by the aggregators like Trustpilot, so no comprehensive review existed at the time of the recording. And what we did, we just went uh, on Google. Let me redo this for you. Block assistant CO review. And as you can see, we have the SAS worthy, the trust pilots, the product hunts. So let's just open this one up. Yeah, so this is not a review. This is just a mention of the tool. And what we did, we used a couple of transcripts for from the video reviews. And we used the trust pilots page here to get the testimonials. So again, this is not a review, a self-sufficient review. This is basically the testimonials. And since you cannot directly upload multiple files into Code Interpreter, what I did, I zipped them. And <laughs> the most important thing, what I also did, I took a note of these two documents. The first one is the helpful content update. This is information straight from Google. And the first one is how to write high quality reviews, again from Google. So I converted all of them to Word documents. So there are five in total, zipped them, and then went straight to ChatGPT. So for those of you, again, playing at home, if you don't have access to Code Interpreter, you go to Settings, Better Features, Code Interpreter. So let's try to recreate this process, and hopefully I don't get hard kept. So we need to... So this is our archive. And first, let's... Let's check if uh, Code Interpreter acknowledges the documents. List the files. Here are the files that were extracted. So again, exactly five files. Blog Assistant Testimonials. So this is Trustpilot. How to write reviews and helpful content. This is from Google. And Blog Assistant Review and Blog Assistant Review 1. These are the transcripts from popular YouTube reviews. So what we can do is as follows. Based on the guidelines from, and we can just copy the files. So this one here. And helpful content update here. Create a perfect blog assistance review article outline while referencing information from, and these are our files or so testimonials. Review 1 and Review 2. Let's see what happens. I can certainly help you with that. However, I need to read the content. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. No use code. Inter so the code interpreter for some reason does says that the two Google files do not contain any text, which is wrong. Now use code interpreter to reread the. Let's just try once again. And. Okay, <laughs> here we go. How to write reviews. This document provides detailed guidance on how to write high quality reviews. 
It emphasizes the importance of writing from the user's experience, demonstrating expertise, blah, blah, blah. And helpful content. The document discusses Google Helpful Content Update that aims to reward original helpful content. Given this new information, I can now provide a more informed outline for the perfect blog assistant review article. And this is the outline that is based on the Google's guidelines. Look at that. So we have introduction, briefly explain what Blog Assistant is and its purpose, highlight the unique selling proposition, features, discuss the main features, such as its use of GPT-4, ability to generate human-like results, discuss how Blog Assistant sets itself apart, user experience, incorporate testimonials, discuss the benefits and drawbacks, comparative analysis, cover compar comparable AI writing tools, conclusion, additional resources. Okay. Use markdown formatting and bolded words, lists, and tables to generate a detailed 100 word paragraph about section one. Maybe 500 words is a lot for the intro, so a detailed paragraph about section one. And section one, once again, is the introduction. Okay. Blog Assistant is an innovative tool designed to transform the way content creators generate articles. The significance of this feature cannot be overstated. In the forthcoming sections, we will delve deeper into the features, user experiences, and comparative analysis. Okay. Nice. Okay, use markdown formatting, both words, listen to to generate a detailed, let's see, 500 word paragraph about section two. Features. So, what's the uh, yeah features? The major strength of Block Assistant lies in its robust sets of features, and, and I like the bolded words section. Another noteworthy feature is the multilingual support. Furthermore, Block Assistant shines in its ease of use and simplicity. In conclusion, blah blah blah. Okay, and now it's just uh, giving us a disclaimer that so this is not a 500 word response, but we don't care. We are just testing this out. Section three, user experience. Was it user experience? Yes, it was. And let me just open up the markdown formatting tool. Same as before. Okay, section four. What I don't like, um, I like the quality of the content, but I don't like how we haven't gotten any lists or tables, even though I specifically ask about it. So, but anyway, we can do something like rewrite the above using lists and tables because this talks about the comparative analysis and this is better formatted with lists and tables at least in my opinion and so there you go we've got an a list at least <laughs> list at least and this is this is so much better I wish uh, GPT-4 would do this by default, but look at this. This is so much better. Okay, go on with section five. Uh, was it section? Which section was it? Yeah, section five. Okay, and this is a humongous conclusion. Okay. Did we have section six? Yes, additional resources. Okay, go on with section six. 
and also include testimonials. And we've kept out. <laughs> but I think you get the gist. So we got the conclusion. Uh, let's just see how it all looks like without the key takeaway section, which I would have added for sure. So introduction, just get rid of this one. And this one here. Okay, features. Again, this is a disclaimer, we don't need that. We got the introduction with a link. And let's just check if this, if this is the correct link. Blog, blog assistant, uh, no, it's not a correct link, but it's okay. Features, nice user experience, comparative analysis. And I like this section a lot, like it looks very nice. And a humongous conclusion. And again, uh, let me check the link. Yeah, same dodgy link. So let's uh, check the word count on this. And again, so we ran out of uh, credits or generations. So I would have uh, added testimonials and I would have added a key takeaway section. So that would have been in excess of 1500 words. And just for fun, let's check the originals, even though I'm pretty sure this will not pass. Scan now. Yeah, 0% original. So the power of this lies in the fact that uh, ChatGPT, with the help of Code Interpreter, used the information from the two Google files, two Google guidelines, which is again the one talking about helpful content updates and the one teaching us to write helpful reviews. And this shines through the outline. I think my prompting uh, in regards to specific uh, sections could have been better, but the just admire the outline. So the intro, okay, uh, personal experience, nice, very important features, comparative analysis, this should be the bread and butter of every review, and additional resources. And if we go to Google guidelines regarding the reviews, you can see that include links to other useful resources. Focus on decision-making factors. Explain what sets something apart from its competitors. So it's all here, and this is very powerful stuff. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.